thousands of commuters on 280 drive over the coolest spot in the universe every day. And I mean that literally. To accomplish what they did today, the Stanford Linear Accelerator in Menlo Park has to be colder than anywhere in outer space. Brian Hackney explains. My name's Mike Dunn. I'm a professor here at Stanford and I'm the director of the Linac Coherent Light Source, the brightest source of X-rays on the planet. At least the two mile long linear accelerator is now at the end of a billion dollar upgrade. This is where we take the X-rays and use them for a whole range of different scientific purposes. This is the fracture, what do you think? This is how you might think of an X-ray, getting a look inside you. But today, in an astonishing leap forward, Stanford can now use x-rays to actually watch each step in a chemical reaction at the molecular level. It all happens in this building. This is the Near Experimental Hall. It's where we study processes on the fastest time scale. It's also where electrons near the speed of light are converted to x-rays that shed intense light on chemical reactions at insane speeds. And so we can use these x-rays like a strobe light. You know, when you're in a disco, a strobe light captures your dancing, captures your beautiful movements. Our x-rays capture the movement of atoms and molecules as they go about their business. And so we can build up this movie of how the world around us works at that atomic and molecular scale. An unbelievable leap in capability. How do we go from where we are today with 100 frames per second? How do we go from there to a million frames per second? A little bit of Menlo Park has to get super cold. So the machine end to end is about three miles long. 12 yards under our feet are 35 modules accelerating electrons to near the speed of light in a superconductor. But superconductivity requires this massive refrigerator, the LCLS-2 cryo plant. The LCLS-2 cryo plant cools the accelerator down to colder than space, two degrees Kelvin, or 456 degrees Fahrenheit below zero. All today to generate the brightest x-rays on Earth. This is where the x-rays will come into this uh, instrument and travel down here towards where they will interact with our sample. And the x-rays ends right here. And inside these detectors may lie answers to the next generation of critical challenges. Can we make more efficient energy sources? Designing the next generation of solar cells. Can we make faster computers and communication? Can we make a next generation of pharmaceuticals that will tackle the diseases that are crippling us today? We are in a journey of finding the next discovery, the next discovery, the next discovery. This is an amazing time to be around. Ten years worth of design, installation, tuning, commissioning is happening right now. Over a billion dollars worth of investment is turning on as we speak. It's a great time to be here. All right, by the way, it won't cost you a dime to get research time on the new accelerator. All you have to do is promise two things. First, that you'll publish your results in a science journal. OK, and that your experiment is brilliant enough to earn research time on the machine. 